Daily Message, March the 26th, 2024. Today, we turn our attention to the gospel according to Luke. Keeping in mind, there's only one gospel, but four accounts of it in the New Testament. There is universal agreement that the third gospel and Acts, which form a theological and narrative unity, were written by the same author. Early church tradition unanimously ascribed those works to Luke, a physician and part-time companion of Paul. The Gospel of Luke is the longest book in the New Testament. Coupled with its companion volume, Acts, it comprises the largest amount of material in the New Testament. Since the overall theme of Luke-Acts is the arrival of God's end times salvation, the best summarizing description for Jesus is the Savior for all people, which is evident in his theme of reversal in chapters 9 through 18, whereby humble outsiders receive blessings or commendation, while prideful insiders suffer rebuke or loss. The key verses are Luke 2, verses 10 through 11. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which will be for all the people. For today in the city of David there has been born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And Luke 19, verse 10, For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Luke's intended audience, being Theophilus, as stated in Luke 1, verse 4, Theophilus meaning one who loves God. After investigating everything from the beginning, Luke's purpose in writing the gospel was to write an orderly account of the life of Christ. Luke is the most comprehensive gospel. The general vocabulary and diction show the author was educated. He stresses Jesus' relationship with people, emphasizes prayer, miracles, and angels, records inspired hymns of praise, and gives a prominent place to women. Thank you, Luke, for exercising due diligence. With love to all, Pastor Cheryl.